Hello friend, if you have TVR Tasman or TVR 280i, this video is for you. Uh, in the middle of the pandemic, from the heart of the coronavirus, the New York City, we're going to be replacing an O-ring from underneath the distributor that generates a low pressure, not important, but a little annoying oil leak. All right, so I purchased the ring from a generic auto parts store. It is compatible with 2.8 Ford engines. And in America, it is like Ranger, Ford Aerostar, Bronco 2, and so on and so forth. So we begin by marking the wires, the position of the distributor. And I mean, if you are a professional, you don't have to do that. In my case, I just did it for reference, not to look for the wires later on. I mean, I do have a video uh, posted earlier, uh, the placement of the wires. So if you want to refer to that, you do that. Next, you can remove the wire and the cap, check underneath the cap for damage, uh, no burns, no cracks, mark your DZ. So you, when you put it back, you know, you don't reverse the timing. And once that's done, you can move in deeper onto the base of the engine where you going to unbolt a screw that holds the entire distributor to the block. It is a half inch bolt and I'm going to mark the position of the distributor as well. Uh, you can use a white out or uh, in my case, I'm using a black nail polish that I stole from my wife. After insert your half inch wrench, break the bolt and use your fingers to get the stopper out. And now to the moment we've all been waiting for. Slide your arm under, wiggle a little bit, and take the distributor out. Pay attention to your DZ. See how it's rotating where you're pulling it out? So this is the start position for you when you're going to be putting it back. We finally got to the point of our destination, uh, the ring, which is long overdue. It doesn't feel like rubber any longer. Every time I touch it, the piece would break. So just take it out, replace it with a new one. Once again, I got mine from AutoZone. Uh, basically went by 2.8 Ford motor, but if you want the part number, this is it. With that said, you can replace the rubber, clean whatever you need to clean, stop this video, watch it in reverse and put everything back. It is in fact the moment of truth. I'm edited. Uh, first time start after an O ring was replaced on a distributor. Everybody? 